Well, hello there. How is everybody doing today? No complaints here, just out on a nice little bike ride. It's a nice day, it's a little bit cloudy, but good enough for a ride. Just saying. Also, just so you know, um, lots of times when I get myself a new reptile, I like to do a little update. So, off to the main topic of the video, shall we? You know what time it is? It's time for an update. Now that I have uh, returned from my little bike trip, let's have a little tour, shall we? Huh. That's a little unexpected. That right there is an egg. My corn snake is laying eggs. Or, I don't know. Yeah, that's an egg. Um, I suppose I should have expected that since she was, she had very little interest in eating, or zero interest in eating, so. So that's one egg, but uh, I think more are coming, so let's leave her alone and just onward. So this is my little setup right here. So, I don't use this thing for gaming anymore. Just YouTube and Netflix. Or Netflix. Yeah. And for turning on some ambience for whenever I provide tours for my reptile room. Uh, I don't have any time for gaming anymore since I have up to eight reptiles to take care of to keep me to keep me busy and my YouTubing. This right here is where my leopard gecko is. Hey, baby. I think she just woke up, or I woke her up. Sorry. And in this cage, I have my crested gecko. His name is Erwin. This is where he lives. And here's my bearded dragon, who has no cage. He just free roams my room my bedroom and lots of times out in my on my balcony and lots of times I try to block these holes so he doesn't crawl out of them uh, so I'm not too worried about him being out here but uh, 
he's not out here uh, unsupervised, that's for sure. Hope my corn sink lives some more, some more eggs. And this is my ball python. Fluffy. This is her cage. Her new cage, actually. She was in that cage. Now that's where my corn snake is, and my corn snake was in this cage. And that's where I put my crested gecko. That's where he lives now. There we go. And he was in this cage. I'll get to whoever lives in this cage in a little while. Stay tuned. Hello, Fluffy. I don't think she's very happy with me uh, having to get her out, but also I got tagged by this snake about a week ago. Naughty snake. Just kidding. It was my fault. And in this cage, I have my garter snake. Her name is Slick. And she is a wild caught. I caught her about three week, three years ago. Originally intending to keep her for just a few day, few days, but that changed apparently. And right here is the largest snake of them all, my biggest reptile, who was, however, just. A teddy bear, basically, or just a big baby. Her name is Nagini. Or, I mean, his name is Nagini. He's definitely a male. I'll take him out later. And in this cage, I have my newest addition. This right here is my sand boa. Just got him a little over a week or two ago. And he's had one meal so far. And his name is Morden. That's his name. It is official. And uh, you want to see why these guys are called sand boas? I'll show you. Pretty neat, huh? Very cool animal. So there you have it. My setup. Some patriotism, that thing.
Snack poster. Love the calendar and the cross. And I like beer. My clock. I think I'll leave her alone. <laughs> so now that I have pretty much covered everything, it's time for some sunshine. Shall we? Just took my boa constrictor out for a little walk. He loves it out in the grass and he loves the sunshine. And he always comes towards me. So, I should go. Bye-bye. <laughs>